क्वेश्चन एटीन नाउ लैक ऑफ रिलैक्सेशन बिटवीन सक्सेसिव स्टिमुलाई लीडिंग टू सस्टेन मसल कंट्रैक्शन नाउ इफ रिपीटेड स्टिमुलाई आर गिवन सो दैट द सेकेंड स्टिमुलस इज जस्ट बिफोर द रिलैक्सेशन फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्टिमुलस हैज बिगन then that leads to summation of contraction and there is sustained contraction called tetanus so here the answer is tetanus while the remaining choices are not for sustained contraction spasm is sudden contraction which is a longer duration tone fatigue is lack of contraction due to accumulation of lactic acid so here the answer for sustained contraction is tetanus that is option number 4 now let's move on to question 19th now question 19th now here we have to select a statement which is correct about inhibin now inhibin is a peptide hormone which is secreted in both males and females now in case of males it is secreted by the sertoli cells which are located in the testes and these cells are also called nerve cells and in females this hormone is secreted by granulosa cells granulosa cells also called follicular cells which are surrounding the oocyte and this hormone in both the cases in case of male as well as female it inhibits fsh secretion so the target of inhibin is the pituitary gland and in pituitary also it is inhibiting the cells which are releasing fsh so now with this we can see the options here now the first choice says that they are produced by nerve cells that is sertoli cells in testes up till here it is right but then it says that it is inhibiting the secretion of lh so that's why it is wrong now second choice inhibits the secretion of lh fsh and prolactin so that is totally wrong then third one produced by granulosa cells in the ovary and inhibits the secretion of fsh now this is absolutely correct and in the fourth choice again it is given that they are secreted by granulosa cells but it is inhibiting the secretion of lh so that's why it is incorrect so our correct answer is option number 3 so let's move on to the next question 20th now question 20th the chronic respiratory disorder caused by cigarette smoking now when a person inhales the smoke there are number of volatile chemicals which are reaching to the alveoli which are increasing the activity of alveolar macrophages and those macrophages secrete proteases which digest the alveolar wall and the respiratory surface area decreases and this condition is a irreversible debilitating condition called emphysema so here the option number 2 that is emphysema and that's our correct answer and let's move on to question 